just set the ultimate bar when showing how to love and it's clear as day that Marty found a true friend in Kimmy and I couldn't be more excited to see the heights you guys take your life to together. Kimmy, thank you for how happy you make Marty and happy is a man that finds a true friend and far happier is he who finds a true friend in his wife. I've imagined this moment about a million times and I know it's been said that a change never lived in real life from the first time that I saw your face Kimberly, I want to thank you for always being there for my son, for your support and your beautiful heart. You are beautiful inside and out, and I could not be happier that he chose you to be his bride forever. Dearly beloved, you have come together into the house of the church so that in the presence of the church's minister and the community, your intention to enter into marriage may be strengthened by the Lord with a sacred seal. Christ abundantly blesses the love that binds you. Through a special sacrament, he enriches and strengthens those he has already consecrated by holy baptism, that they may be faithful to each other forever and assume all the responsibilities of married life. And so, in the presence of the church, I ask you to state your intentions. Martin and Kimberly, have you come here to enter into marriage without coercion, freely and wholeheartedly? I have. Are you prepared as you follow the path of marriage to love and honor each other for as long as you both shall live? I am. Are you prepared to accept children lovingly from God and to bring them up according to the law of Christ and His Church? I am. Since it is your intention to enter the covenant of holy matrimony, join your right hands and declare your consent before God and His Church. I, Martin Redlicky, take you, Kimberly Rich, to be my wife. I promise to be faithful to you in good times and in bad, in sickness and in health, to love you and to honor you all the days of my life. I, Kimberly Rich, take you, Martin Redlicky, to be my husband. I promise to be faithful to you in good times and in bad, in sickness and in health, to love you and to honor you all the days of my life.
May the Lord in his kindness strengthen the consent you have declared before the church and graciously bring to fulfillment his blessing within you. What God joins together, let no one put asunder. Lord, bless these rings which we bless in your name. That those who wear them may remain entirely faithful to each other, abide in peace and in goodwill, and live always in mutual charity through Christ our Lord. Kimberly, receive this ring as a sign of my love and fidelity in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Martin, Martin receive this ring as a sign of my love and fidelity in the name of the Father and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. May the Lord Jesus, who graced the marriage at Cana by his presence, bless you and your loved ones. May he who loved the church to the end unceasingly pour his love into your hearts. Amen. May the Lord grant that bearing witness to faith in his resurrection, you may await with joy the blessed hope to come. And may Almighty God bless all of you who are gathered here, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Could you now please turn to face the congregation? I present to you, Mr. and Mrs. Martin and Kimberly Redlicky. I have known Marty for a pretty long time, 2014, like my dad mentioned, and like Amanda and Lauren mentioned. And I am just so thrilled to be married to you and that you really are my best friend. And to be able to celebrate it with everybody here really means so much. At the end of the hall, my first day at UCLA, I just knew something was there, there was a spark, and the rest is history. So thank you everyone for being here. We couldn't be more excited and I can't wait to spend the rest of my life with this beautiful girl right here. So thank you everybody.
They're both immensely driven and fiercely loyal. They can be intensely focused, but also lovingly goofy. And we really got to see how well they complement and bring out the best in each other. May you guys live a life full of endless love together and unforgettable experiences. We're so excited for you two to embark on this new adventure together, and with that, we'd all like you to raise your glasses. There are good ships and there are wood ships, but the best ships are friendships. To Kimmy and Marty. Kimmy and Marty are going to be moving to Oklahoma to start a new adventure in life, and uh, we couldn't be more thrilled. They love it enjoying life together, and uh, as important, they have an incredible respect for each other. Kimmy and Marty, this is for the past seven and a half years, I had a privilege to watch your relationship and love grow and blossom, and after watching it, I know for sure that the saying about two peas in the pot is really true. Always keep me moving after all these years And after all these years I still love you Through every single tear we've ever cried Cause after all these years it brought the two of us right here No place I'd rather be after all these years and respect towards each other grow, grow every day. I love you, Kimmy and Martin. You were really made for each other. May God bless you and your beautiful life together. And I know I love you more tomorrow morning when I wake up beside you. Sunlight on your face in a hundred years from now, I look at you and say After all these years, I still love you Through every single tear we've ever cried Cause after all these years, I brought the two of us right here No place I'd rather be after all these no place I'd rather be after all these years. I still want you next to me after all these.